to me, the, the biggest change has been on the technology that you see here on the floor, on the exhibit floor. We've gone from a lot of mechanical type equipment only to now a lot more technology around radar systems, satellite systems, airborne systems, uh, systems to use uh, software to track spills and manage the spill operation to then other services that are offered that are part of the package. So the technology has clearly come into an, an area that was mainly before more of a pure cleanup and restoration to utilizing a lot of this technology that you see here. How long have you been uh, coming to this conference? Oh, on and off for uh, at least uh, 20 years. What, uh, how has the, uh, the content and the, uh, I guess, character of the conference changed over that time period? Uh, what I think is uh, it's especially uh, interesting this time around is the advances in technology that have been made in the last several years. Uh, over time, uh, sometimes the, uh, the lack of uh, interest as, as uh, incidents uh, pass, time passes, the interest wanes, and, and the industry itself is, is then difficult to sustain. But at this particular time, we're really seeing some great advancements in technology being applied to the, uh, to the, to the uh, whole industry of oil spill response. It's, it's not so much how do you get the oil off the water, it's how do you locate it, how do you uh, spot your uh, operations and keep people in the thickest oil to make it efficient. And uh, those technologies are now evolving. It's really rewarding to look around at the conference and see so much geared towards surveillance and spotting. So that, that's been a major uh, breakthrough. Well, clearly without this conference, uh, there wouldn't be the opportunity to exchange the latest technologies and to really get a feel for where do we go from here. Well, I think um, the, the main attraction is in the very first uh, word of the title, international. Um, you get a lot of different perspectives. Uh, you understand, um, you, you learn a little bit more about threats that you never even had thought about before. Um, and you can share lessons learned on different activities you know, with people throughout the world. And I think, it, you know, in the end, that's just going to make our response posture better globally. And how important this, is this uh, type of activity to uh, the general public? Well, the IOC is a, is, a, is a forum to exchange the ideas and the views, the lessons learned from the past, uh, the suggestions for the future, and uh, communication is the, is the number one aspect of, uh, of making this a continuing, growing, uh, more significant part of the, uh, being able to protect the environment.